guys and welcome to a new vlog. I'm at the Turta Temple here in Ubud which has been recommended to be one of the best temples to visit here for its spiritual experience. So today I'm here with Connor. we're gonna have the full ritual here which many people are actually coming here to do as well. A little later than schedules, it's about 11 o'clock so it's a little bit busier than what we hoped but we'll make do with the, the crowds there and wait for our turn to enter the water. As part of the ritual here, it's all about a spiritual cleanse just to kind of get rid of all of that bad karma, which I'm all for and I'm very excited to do this and document it for you guys. And as well to note in terms of the entrance cost, it was a hundred uh, for the two of us, so 50 each, which is around two pound, which is not too bad. We don't have a sarong, but we're gonna get one in the temple, which will be an additional cost, which I will also let you know how much it is in case you don't have one to wear for part of the ceremony. Oh. I'm going to try and remember what the lady showed me on the beach, how to do it. <laughs> Something like that. No, it's all along those lines. I see you. Oh, another one. That's just about okay. Look at you in your little... Wrong and the locker is 25, but I think we can probably fit our stuff in one locker. They're quite yeah, probably. spacious, so just get two strongs in one locker if you're a two. It's a 35. Should totally. be alright, yeah, it's a 35. Two strongs. Perfect. And, and one, one locker, locker please. Yeah. Very good. Joe. Under Joe. Under Joe. Yes. Yeah, you've got it right. You've got it right with no E. No, normally people spell it with an E. <laughs> Now Swarovski's. Apologies in advance, I've got a bit of a red eye. A bit of grit went in my eye when we were on the moped, so it caused me to get a bit red. <laughs> Which Connor's pointed out to me, but he's in his sarong as well. We're just waiting for the offerings to be given to us to do our prayer before we begin the water part of this ritual. I like the smell. You like incense. the smell? I love, I love incense. Well, the smell makes it relaxation. When, yeah, when we do purification, I mean when we do meditation, okay. we we'll pray for you. I think we pray at the same time, that's when it's fair. Yeah. <laughs> no, no first, no Both second. Both good karma. Both like, good karma. For the universal. For the Jageg nature, world. People yeah. with the God. Yes. Okay? To make balance. Mm. A balance. Yeah, make mm -hmm. balance. Yeah. May I ask about the, the, the offerings? The is offering. it just an arrangement of nature? Is there something... Is there a particular purpose between the ingredients? Yeah, you know, the offering have a deep meaning. Okay? So we use everything. Yes. You know, everything we get from the nature, then we return back again. Because yes. we need to make billion about universal. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So we put different flower of color. Mm -hmm. This is symbolized. Symbolist of manifestation of God. Yes. Okay. We put different color. We have one God we call Sangyang Vidi, but have a million manifestation power of God. Is that true? One God, but manifestations yeah. many. Yeah. Oh. So you look our 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 cell. We call peace, right? Mm -hmm. But have a lot. Yeah. Like ace, nose, lip, oh. Bagus. Bagus. <laughs> Like you me. know right mm. you, I know right. <laughs> <laughs> because we respect okay? yeah when we enter uh, going to the temple we respect for the temple yes and when we do water basin we respect like, the spirit of holy water I mean the energy will come yes. okay okay so we'll feel like a, do we a ask, release do we ask for blessing or do we just go in with an open mind so we to giving be, blessing yeah supposed to be when you will do water basing you pray what do you purpose to come here be beautiful you want your life. yeah okay because we make the offering yes like a beautiful yes right? is it coming from a place of love like love uh, whatever you want yes okay love peace everything have uh, three pounds and totally 33 pounds in but not everything we do for purification because we respect another fountain for another ceremony okay. okay but later when you finish for praying or meditation just going there follow the line and then go because in. we have a procedure yeah. you cannot choose one just follow the line start from the second fountain yes we skip the first one because the first one we use for ceremony on the temple oh, okay. okay start from the second do one by one until ten 
Skip ten fountains. Yeah, ten fountains in the first pond. Yeah. Okay. Skip one, eleven, and twelve. Yeah, if I. at the second water fountain yeah. to do because they were telling us that the number differently for different ceremonies. Number one, 11 and 12 are strictly for funeral ceremonies so they have skipped them for tourists. Yeah. So we're queuing now and you have to have the green sarang on. Locals do bring their own as well so there is kind of a rule for them to wear their own but if you are coming as a tourist wear the green. <laughs> as you can see quite a few people are here. But yeah. Make sure you're wearing your sun cream as well because you're going to be waiting out in the sun for quite a while to get inside. The crowd is getting pretty busy right now. And I believe all of the fountains are in there. Yeah, so it's all in one place. I think so. But yeah, you might be best coming a bit earlier. But I think it's probably going to be like this throughout the whole day. It's really popular. Precise morning. Precise the morning, yeah. If you come bang on 8 o'clock. Which was our plan at first, but we didn't do that. Because I selected a bit more. Should is it? It's no, like it's noble not. sport. I thought someone would be telling you kind of how you how you'd be doing things, but yeah, people were pushing in front of you. Let me see. Let me see. Which one would we uh, we were told to avoid one eleven twelve? So we're slowly going down. I think we've probably been here maybe for an hour in the queue. Quite a lot of people have cut through and gone to the second part just to do the next bit because they don't have enough time. So yeah, if you are coming here obviously on your own, you'll have time to kind of do it in your own time. But if you have a group of steam, you probably might have a bit of a time to do stuff so I think that's why a lot of people have gone in that bit but one thing that hasn't really been explained to us is like how long you should be putting your head under the water I don't know if you don't do set, just, set limit. I don't know if it's a set rule so I'm just going to dunk I think to move dunk and move I'm seeing it's in a, a three process so locals tend to be drinking the water three times and they're splashing their face three times and then they put their head under the water they're scrubbing the water into the hair like three times i personally am not going to drink the water i wouldn't recommend that you might get a bit unwell from doing that <laughs> um so i think i might just do the three times done maybe that'll be fine you know down below what is the traditional way of doing it just so people are aware if you guys are from bali and let people know to educate us because like I mentioned there's not really any directions on how you're supposed to be doing it here it's pretty much like a free-for-all so we're now out of the temple unfortunately I couldn't film but actually putting our head into the water so you could see what we were doing as part of the ritual as they didn't allow cameras in there so that's something to be aware of if any of you guys want to take photos or videos or anything like that you will be walking into what will feel like a market going on forever a bit like a soup market um, when you come out the temple as well where you can buy some things it's quite similar to um, central upload if you've watched my other videos you'll see where you can buy here which is very well placed and also you've got like a food little market too where you can get fresh fruit which actually looks really nice but our agenda now is to get a late breakfast so gonna go to a nice lovely cafe that's got a nice rice paddy view so we love seeing that greenery but now yeah we're on the hunt to find the car park space which I think we've gone to the entrance here babe we're the wrong way oh, I've got to mention for the mopeds there is a free car park across which many people don't know so the other part of the car park space is here um, which we didn't have to do so I'll make a note roughly where it was on the map for you guys if you are coming here but the drive here was pretty smooth a little bit of traffic which is expected it's kind of becoming like that a little bit here in Bali from what I'm gathering the killer in a bud because there's more cars so it just builds up so we had about a 48 minute drive from where our Airbnb is I'll link where we've stayed as well it's a really gorgeous little villa we changed slightly our room we had a bigger room in the end so you guys will have seen a different video it was more like a hut 
So we stayed in at first, which was fine, but as we are both video editing and doing bits, we need more space. So we've got more of like a, an apartment, which is lovely. So we're staying in that now for a couple more days. I forgot to add to when we were doing the ceremony, there's the other chamber that you can do with some more water that you can do as part of the ritual. We decided not to do it just because of the mass amount of people that were there would be there for another two hours. So obviously we want to do more things today, but I really enjoyed it. It is worth doing, but I'd probably say get there when it opens rather than later in the day because you're going to get more people. Obviously tourists are going to come on coaches and stuff like that. It's going to take a lot more time and apparently it was the holidays for locals as well. So get the locals there too. But other than that, I definitely enjoyed it. It was worth it. It wasn't too expensive either to do it either. So I'll make a note down below for the pricing. We got the ticket there on the day, so you don't need to pre-book in advance. In Huma Cafe, which looks like a really new spot here in Ubud, and some <laughs> villas that have just been built over there for people to buy, and it's so nice here. Whereas Paddy has got people working, so it's like a co-working spot as well. Really nice. Very much our vibe. Yeah, isn't it? you absolutely. Beautiful. And then you got the actual building there with them making the food and all the drinks over there, which are really nice. It has like the mixture of like the rustic and beachy. Mm. style. Like, what are you gonna have? I know, I'm having, I'm having, the, I'm having the cocoa ball. Oh, cocoa nano nut yeah. ball. Oh, I'm gonna do the same. Really? We always end up getting the you same. You sure? Food. Got it? Yeah. Do you want a mocha with me as well? No, no. I'm just gonna do um, iced caramel. Balls are £2.70. £2.70. That's good. Um, and then coffee? Coffee is. Uh, just to give you guys a an idea of the difference in the price here. So it's just under two, uh, just under, I said one pound ninety. <laughs> that is not even like a flat white. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is crazy. It's Appreciating the calmness and the nature here, I think that's like one of the things just to appreciate if you are coming to Bali. Just have a moment, completely disconnect oh. from the yeah. nine to five, especially if you're here for a holiday and just really immerse yourself into the nature. And take it in because it's rare that you see such beautiful sights like this, especially if you're living in Europe <laughs> or in particular in the UK. Oops. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, yeah, I, I dropped it. Thank you. I like the decoration, very pretty. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Oh, okay. that's good. Yes, it's got like a just a nice. Oh, that's nice. It's got a nice hint of chocolate. It's not too sweet either. It's like really nice caramel. It's good, yeah. No, it's good. I found some mochas where they just don't taste much of chocolate at all. But they call it a mocha. That's got the sweetness of chocolate. But you can taste the coffee in it. Yeah. It's probably my second or third favourite. Which, Which is, is good. your first one? I've got two that are really good. Meow coffee in Changu. Yeah, that one. Was nice. That one's good. And then the other one is the Namaskar coffee in Ubud oh. and Superfoods. The one that was inside, we sat the down. One, the one that I had peanut butter and toast in. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I that like one that actually one. had a very, I've remembered because I've written them down in my book. Those two and this have the perfect blend of what I prefer for a, a mocha. Which yeah, is, if any of you guys like mochas, he's you your have, person. You have to taste the coffee, but you also need to, for me, taste a hint of the chocolate. Slightly sweetness and a little bit of maybe a dark chocolate hint. Whereas some coffees, it's like a mocha, but there's no chocolate taste to it. Mm. This, and the, this and the other two are great, and the view. Match yeah. made in heaven. It's beautiful. And for anyone who is interested in ice drinks, because it is warm here, because it's got holes in it, it's always it that you want to see. Good. But it does taste really, really good. Yeah. And it looks like the aesthetically looking ones that you see on Pinterest or TikTok and that that you see people make at home. But it's very peaceful. And it's probably on the cheaper scale actually. Yeah, it is. It's um Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can see what he, she means. He means by it's a bit more runny. Liquidy, yeah. A bit more runny. Actually, are you gonna do the taste test? Oh, watch out. It's a bit more runny, but it's still nice though. Yeah, let's, I'll try. Okay. Hang on, let me let's get a flavour. I don't know how to do this. Mm. Oh. oh my god, I can't. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit more. Who brain freeze? It's nice though. It's nice actually. Yeah, it's actually very refreshing. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Nice. But yeah, the only 
thing I wish it was, it was thicker though. Nice soothing music as well. Mm. Lovely, like lo fi jazz music. Mm. <laughs> I got it on my foot. I feel like I've bonded with you. Is that the only This dog smelling like my heart. Uh, yes, one more. I like my perfect pug. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Such a fun Does that feel good? Does that feel good? But yeah, we're going to enjoy this take in the views and uh, have some more relaxation I think today mm. but for now I'm gonna sign off this vlog I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and that is inspired you to have a nice relaxing day having much more of a spiritual kind of day too with what we've done today I hope that's good you to do this too when you come here to upload but yeah for now I'll see you in the next video bye